Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Glenn Hirsch. I'm a technical business development manager in worldwide public sector for Amazon Web Services. I'm joined today by Sheng Shen, who is a solution architect here in worldwide public sector, and he focuses exclusively on containers and serverless solutions. Thanks for joining us today, Sheng. Happy to be here. You know, one of the questions we get quite a bit is if you're new to working in this world of DevOps and Agile and uh, that area is pipelines. What What is a pipeline? So I've invited Shung here today to join me and maybe give us a little bit of definition about, you know, kind of some introduction to what is a pipeline, Shung? Yeah. Pipeline is a way allows you to automate your CI, CD, continuous integration and continuous deployment for your applications. It has multiple stages, allow you to do different things. Like for example, build your applications or deploy your applications and also allows you like, for example, testing your applications. Okay, so in the old world, right, we would, we would, we would write some code mm -hmm. and then basically just put it on a server and run it, right? Yeah. So how's that changing by today? Yeah, let's have an example. That's a basic pipeline over there. So the developers working on the code in their native like IDs could be Cloud9, it's a AWS web ID. So they finish their coding, then they push the code into the repository. Could be host in code commit, a managed code repository service. So this is your IDE, the integrated development environment, right? Yeah. So there's multiple uh, companies out there doing this, right? This is this is Amazon Web Services version of an IDE. Okay. And then our code that we're writing up here on this editor is stored down in code commit. Yeah. Okay. I got so you so far. The beauty of the code pipeline is once you push your code in, it can automatically trigger a build. We can use our code builder service to build your applications, or you can use open source alternatives like Jenkins to build your applications. Then you can use our service like code deploy to deploy applications to a test environment. Then we can automate the testing over there to do like integration testing, to do load testing. When we are satisfied with the results, we can deploy again to a production environment, environment using code deploy or Jenkins and finish your continuous deployment. So this is a basic version, right? Yeah, this can get, I mean, in, in real life, pipelines are much broader and bigger typically, right? Yeah. So the key here, right, is with AWS, we give you the basic functionality and services so that you could start today, right? And build, build it just even if it's a couple lines of code, you could build your own pipeline. Exactly. We always give you like building blocks. You can have multiple stages doing different things over there. You could do unit testing here. You could deploy to a staging environment. And later on, you can merge your code to a different branch and deploy your new version to your production environment. So a lot of flexibility and the capabilities over there. All right. So this is a basic one. How would we how would we snazz it up a little bit? How do we how do we add some feature capability within our portfolio to really add some more value here? Yeah, another example would be people want to containerize their applications. Then if they want to build a Docker container, for example, they can commit the code and use code build to build their Docker image and push the image into a registry, like for example, AWS ECR. Then they can use code deploy, pull the image back and do a deployment to their testing environment to an ECS or EKS or their own container environment and push them eventually to the production environment. Gotcha. Okay, so here we're at the point where now we're getting really kind of fancy, right? We're taking code, we're compiling it, taking all these libraries, uh, creating what I consider executable code, right? Is that is that fair? Mm -hmm. So, and then we store those in the Elastic uh, Container Registry, right? This is where this is stored. So this is different than code commit, right? That's different. Code, code commits to keep in my source. So, yeah. So the actual, I guess, readable uh, format of your code. And the ECR is containing the what? Yeah, the doc image. The image. So that's really, okay, so that's it all packaged up. And this this image, that's the portable piece. That's the piece that can go into multiple clouds, multiple locations, right? Exactly. Excellent, excellent. And the deploy actually gets it out to that target environment, wherever it may be. Yes. Gotcha. And so now we have tests down here. How do I, what can I do with my code, right? Is there, are there any other tools I can put in with my code to maybe see what's going on? Yes. So that's not the whole story, right? When you deploy application to production, a lot of times you want a feedback. You want to monitor your applications, how they perform, 
any exceptions, errors. So we do have a service like, for example, uh, CloudWatch. allows you to collect all the logs and the metrics and show you the data in a dashboard. Or we have another service called X-Ray, which allows you to have a tracing for your application from end to end. Like for example, your users click your web page and go through the APIs and go through the database and X-Ray is going to give you the whole picture about all the performance and different lags or different component. So this will tell us where we need to go back and look at the code, and maybe make it better or optimize it or do anything like that. Yes, Is that right? Exactly. And so what's a and what does this, you know, for me, what does that testing look like? Is that, you know, what am I testing in the test phase? Like what what's what's is it, what does that look like? Yeah, typically you want to do like integration testing, make sure all the services working together or you want to do some load testing to make sure the performance is acceptable. Acceptable. So years ago, you would probably sit down at a terminal of some sort and really test it by hand, right? And so this automates that piece? Yes. You can have a different component either from a partner or you can develop your own testing suite to test all your applications. So let me get this right. I'm going to write a web-based application. So I've got, I, I've got my editor. I'm really drawing some basic, you know, maybe doing some database searches, maybe doing some type of activity there. I'm going to deploy that application out, and then I'm going to automate it to make sure that my data entry, so I can run all these you know, scripts, I guess, is the right yes. word, right? So it's going to test to make sure that the browser's working, that I, I'm able to edit the record I need to edit, and it's going to do that all automated. What, what if it fails? Yeah, the code pipeline would stop over there, and you can have alarm to go there and check out what's the error and fix your problem. And okay. Deploy again. So somebody might have to go change some code, tweak it, fix it, etc. Yeah. And so what happens if, what if it goes through this whole process and every all the tests are passed and things look good? Then you have a successful deployment and in code deploy, for example, we also keep all the histories, allow you to load back in case you have some issues later. Oh, that's the classic plan B, right? Yeah. You, know, you know, bail out, things get bad, we can step back. So now we've got that. Is this, how often can I do this in the real world? You can do it as often as you want. It has a pay-as-you-go pricing model. So if you don't want, we don't charge you. And it's a great way to uh -huh. have an agile process for your DevOps. So I could deploy that application that I wrote. I could do it daily? Of course. Even you can do hourly or even more frequent. Oh, OK. Yeah. So this is, this is the tactic that most software companies that develop code, do they use these pi types of pipeline today? Yeah, yeah. All the companies adopt like modern DevOps process, CI, CD pipelines, they pretty much do the same thing over there. Well, this is great. Thanks so much, Sean. This really helps me understand a little bit about this. And hopefully we shared enough with you to give you a start as well with the concept of pipelines. Thanks again for joining us.